So we cut a bit of metal off today. <laughs> Just a little bit. Okay, let's give Land Rover a call, see if they have an A post, a new one. Gosh, Hi, mate. Um, I've uh, recently purchased a Land Rover Evoque and um, yep. I need an A, a post. Well, the, the, the A post trim. Yeah, so the wheel's gone on the passenger side. The wheel's gone up into the arch and pushed the um, the A post sort of metal um, in. And I need to sort of unspot weld that and put a new part in. I'm just seeing if you do the yeah. do the part. Let me just have a look. What's your vehicle registration? So basically, what you're telling me the suspension legs goes up and damage the A pillar. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, so where the, do where the door hinges bolt on on the passenger side, the, uh, the lower one's you can pushed get in. That as a panel. You can get that as a panel. I can? Yeah. Uh, that front section with the A-pillar where the, where the door bolts, you can get that uh, 316.65. How much? 316? 316.65. So what's happened is it probably it is welded to sort of like a foot uh, into the door side and like another foot into the um, roof as well. That's where it's joined. Yeah, I think I can I can split it just, I, I can split it between the bottom door hinge and the top door hinge um, from, from when I've got it. Um, I don't suppose no, you could send me... No, can you email me a picture? Yeah, that'd be really good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what's your email? I don't suppose you've got a, like an exploded diagram you could send me with the, with the bits on just so I can see which bits I might need to order. Yeah, this is this is uh, exactly what we you're looking at the um, A pillar. Oh, wicked! Perfect. If that is the part I was thinking of. Yeah. Okay. So, um, if I wanted to order that, how quick could you get that in stock? Uh, which side are you talking about? Uh, passenger. Passenger. Okay. Yeah, I can get in tomorrow if you order before two today. That looks like the right part. That definitely looks like the right part. So it looks like, well, that's 316 quid um, plus VAT. So I'll speak to um, the guys helping me do the framework and see if that's what we need. Okay, so having spoken to Land Rover, they can do the outer skin for 380 pounds, um, including VAT. I've had a look online and found this one on eBay. It's close by. I think the damage is a bit deeper than just the outer skin. So. I'm going to pull the trigger on this one. Okay, next day here, and we're going to get a chassis cut with Mick. Do you remember Mick? Here he is. <laughs> right, let's go get this chassis cut. Come on, Mick. Get the lines. Get in. Is that all right for you like that? Yeah. Yeah, it should be fine. The reason yeah. we don't cut them up in the fair is because when you're doing something it, you need to stitch it in yeah, where yeah. you know, so. Yeah, this is where, this is where it's stuffed in there. Yeah. But it ain't going to bend that. No, it's not going to bend. No, that's... Yeah, I don't want to bend any little bit. Yeah. What are you doing, mate? Tells them off all the time. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Put there, right, so you don't scratch oh, you ain't going to scratch that back, mate. You'll just put it in there. <laughs> it's a bloody truck. As long as you don't scratch the outside, I don't care about the rest. It's a bloody truck. Does that go, Mick? Yeah, you, I'll get it in. I'll get it in. Will that really go? Will that looks like it will. It will. Go on, shut it off. There you go. Right, I just need to pay him now. Don't 
several days later. Welcome back to part four. We are at Alan's workshop. You know what time it is. Here is the A pillar we have purchased. And we're gonna be splicing that and cutting that in today. So let's go see Alan. Just there. Alan, how are we getting on? <laughs> We've got the door off, jacking the car up. This is the damage. Let's get into it. Okay, so the door is off, um, we've checked inside here and it is not bent inside, which is really good. Um, so now what we're going to do on time lapse is start cutting into this to see where the damage goes to and see how much we can repair, pull out. Um, and obviously we've got that new panel that I showed you a few moments ago that's going to be spliced into here. So commence with the time lapse. Weapons of choice. professional ranks with a tremendous record of 42 wins the angle grinder he weighed in at 273 pounds he is also undefeated in his campaign with a record of 29 wins the spotwell true <laughs> and now making his entrance to the ring the two-time world champion the Hammers and chisel! <laughs> Let's go. That's the noise you want to hear. Yeah, little click noise. He made that look so easy. <laughs> the first one. <laughs> They're not bad. This will be like five minutes job, this will. Uh. <laughs> when you've been drilling them for about an hour, then your arm's falling off. And, like, you're like, yeah. and it's all right when they do that. Like If you, if you actually hit them dead right and they drill off easy. Yeah, that good click noise. That, uh, oh, yeah, that's, uh, the, yeah, that's, that's the noise that, you want, right? isn't it? Say, but by doing it, like, yes, if we, start, if we can get this all in bits today, yeah. nice excellent, so we know where we're going. We're and the more you cut off, mate, the more surprised how weak it becomes. <laughs> I think there's like, there's, what, at least three, three bits in there, do you want oh, yeah. together in there, three or four? We're in there now, oh, there's, the other one. there's one more in there that goes round to the A post. Yeah. Then that's, and then there's another one inside, which will be your inner diaphragm. That's where we're going for the cut then. That's, well, that's it's at the first, that's the first, the first cut. bit coming off, or first bit where it's going to come off. Looking like in there. It's um, it's not the inner one well, but the outer one's a nice like cover. So yeah. That's one one bit off, right? That's the now, first bit. That's the first bit off, and you can see damage goes deeper, <laughs> which we're expecting, right? Yep. Okay, so I'm going to be getting on with unspot welding the donor panel and 
Alan is going to be continuing chopping the mangle panel out in there. We're into the second, probably getting into the third layer soon, aren't we? Yep. In there, which is where all the where all the reinforcements are, and um, we just sort of cut a sort of peepy hole in there just to see what's happening. Um, so um, let's go. Okay, as you can see, I've started um, drilling out the spot welds. Um, no need to video all of this, so I'll see you once I've got that whole row off. Okay, so what's it looking like then, Alan? Now this, this bit in here is where the, this is probably gonna, we're gonna probably have to replace some of this, so don't we'll be able to straighten it. Yeah. So that's like the inner set, that is the inner sill. I mean, the only very, the very end section we have to do probably about three inches, four inches of it. Yeah. So that, that should sort that out. So there, there was no way I was pulling this out of the dozer, is there? <laughs> Not a chance. Yeah, I mean, it was worth a try. If you, could have got, if you could have got hold of it and you could have kept grip of it, yeah. you might have done it. But I think that's the biggest problem. Because it wanted so much pulling, you couldn't... It just... Yeah, yeah. My, my dozer comes about that long. Yeah. That go underneath. And um, my dozer's got a different style of bracketry on it. So if we have to, we will have the dozer out and we will give it a little drag. Yeah. yeah we, will, we will put brackets across it and we will give it a pull. But I think... To be honest, mate, because it hasn't, doesn't look to have gone any further than like the end three inches of this. Yeah. I think the easiest way is going to be just cut it out. Yeah. You know, cut it out and put this little bit in, because that only goes to there. There's, yeah. only, there's a shoulder there. We've got all that big panel around yeah. there that I'm working on at the moment, yeah. so that'd be good. So it's touched the lower sill down there by about two, three inches. Um, so that's what we're working on. We're going to chop that out. We've got the donor panel, which is going to be really good um, to salvage anything we want off it. We've got obviously the, the inner brackets there, which is sort of strengthening it up, which are a bit bent. That's the worst part just there. Under here, yeah. that is such a nice way the way it goes under here. Yeah, that is such a nice piece of panel to use. Like, obviously, leave it up here, you know, we, we do cut it somewhere there. And use that complete hinge panel. So, we're thinking taking it off, yeah, taking it off up here, yeah. using this whole lower, yeah, lower panel. Use the whole bottom of the A post, yeah. I think that'd be better, Andy, don't you? It's going to mean interfering with the door shut, but well, because it has mashed here so bad. Yeah. And that would be a dead straight piece to work to, wouldn't it?
Okay, so we have um, had a look at this panel and the inner panels and um, we've made a decision we're going to cut across there and down there. See where we've drawn those lines and then stitch those back in. So let's get on with that. I think that's quite a long panel in there, so yeah. I think it goes in quite by it. If it does, what I might do is um, we won't take that off, we'll go next. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, we'll go well, next to so it. So, probably what we'll go, yeah, go through the side, yeah, use that hole and just put that, yeah. But I think that's definitely gonna be the way forward, mate. Yeah, and I think across here somewhere, yeah, and I think we'll, I think then we've got a nice starting point, then we've got a if we get that off next, yep. we'll get the, um, the that bit cut as well, yep. some, a bit small, a bit bigger, and we'll sort of get it lay it in place and see how far. Then we could establish how far this is back and make some decisions what we're going to do with it. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, so we've exposed the inner wing and the damage. So we can obviously see this, this part here is pushed back and it's crimped up this part here. Where's that bit we just chopped off, Al? Oh, so here's some of the inner structure. This is probably, this is the part that holds the, um, the lower hinge onto the door. It's pretty heavy actually, isn't it, that? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a strong bit. So we've done a rough cut just to see what's behind all this um, and then we are going to we're cutting our dyno panel Okay, so we've got our donor panel cut. We're just gonna take it off now. Okay, second donor panel. And we saved the plastic bit inside. Sorry as well. <laughs> That's a bit of it, really. <laughs> okay, so this is the donor panel we're gonna be using, which is gonna go up like that um we've still got some inner panel work to do so this is the this is the second skin from the car that is the third skin so you've got this one over the top here then you've got the second skin there and then you've got the reinforcement part which is in there and then you've got the third reinforcement part which is here and then you've got the proper inner skin um, so we're going to be replacing this as well. Um, we need to pull this out as well and replace that. Um, but this is our donor part and you can see where we're sort of going to be going to be cutting. You get the idea. OK, so we're down to the, is this a third layer? Yep. So it's the third layer. Yeah, um, the end of the, end of the inner cell. So you can see what this one looks like. Let's go take a look at the one on the car. The inner cell. Ouch. Yeah, it's quite a far, far bit back there, isn't it? Okay, again, from here. To here. So now what we're doing is unspot welding, more unspot welding, this part here. And we're gonna put that on to the car. So how far are we off then? Inch. Not that far. Truthfully, mate, not That's that really bad. Look. Do 
It's not that far, is it? No, it's not too bad. Removing more damage. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you, can see, you can see exactly where it's kinked in now, can't you, yeah. behind there? Yeah. Adam was just saying it's totally the wrong shape. It's folded in and put a big crease in it in the inner part here. So um, we'll work our best with that. Um, hopefully we can get, get that part out and bolt, um, bolt weld everything back up. But if we can't, we'll have to make a cut in the donor panel. But fingers crossed, um, we can pull that part out with a dozer. Okay, end of day one. We've chopped the... Made a mess. A pillar, <laughs> made a mess. Chop the A-pillar out, chop the inner wing out, chop the other inner ring out, um, and we're left with a small bit of damage. So we're gonna get on the dozer tomorrow and see if we can pull that out. If not, we're gonna use the donor wing, which you've chopped that out of, and we've got all this stuff over here. We can use the donor wing, worst case scenario, but hopefully we don't need that. And, and I'm gonna get going. Cheers, Sam. <laughs> see you in the morning. See you in the morning, guys. Home time. Okay, end of day one, um, there's a lot of cutting, a lot of picking up parts, um, a lot of assessing the damage underneath those extra panels. So um, we've got a lot done today, but still way off having that um, A-pillar sorted. So join me next week and we've a lot further down the line.